What are my people? Let's help Gleyber Torres. He's from the Yankees, a middle infield. He's a he hit home run. He hit for power. He's a super good athlete. Uh, twenty six, I think he's from Venezuela. From Venezuela. Uh, yeah, he's twenty six. People send us these videos from D to DM about him because he w he put this uh, his swings in his stories working right, and we're gonna. I'm going to show you this this part because a lot of y'all, when y'all taking practice, y'all taking swings that it don't even make uh, sense in games. And as you know, you're probably working hard like, like Gleyber Torre is. He's probably working hard. But we see some things that it really don't happen in the real swing, in the league swing, in the league mechanics. Okay? So, uh, and that, for, for and this is a sample of sometimes it can cost you getting a slump. Okay, because you're taking the wrong actions a uh, hundred times in the cage because you're trying to work hard, but you're taking the wrong act direction, the wrong stretch, the you're wrong creating bad habits. You're creating bad habits and you don't even realize because yeah. you may be hitting the ball hard in the cage. Uh, and I feel like uh, we it's, have to. Mm -hmm. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. Equality, quality of bats. And that's for us, that's how we do. We try to be specific on how we take swings in the cage. And sometimes we have to do a lot of video because. They don't even realize they do it until they see the videos and they, the way we can talk to them uh, about how to approach, how to do it right, is just by putting it right next to somebody that can do it. Like Manny Ramirez. An elite. An elite swing. And I know he got some elite swings. I see him, Glaber, I see him before. He getting good swing. He got good numbers before. Uh, and he's not doing bad this year. I'm just saying this can cost a If slump. he getting a slump, or it can cost him in a slump. It costs him a slump because yes. this is when you're taking swings in the in the, in the practice, you should be taking exactly how game swing is supposed to be, unless you're doing a drill. But this drill is you not know, it's not a drill. So first of all, when he go forward, he go with the coil situation, so that's good. He go with the back pocket, back pocket to the pitcher with the coil situation. That's the way he hit. And then right here, when he getting that stretch right there, as you can see, look at the chest. Of Manny, Manny Ramirez. Manny the legend. He's right here keeping the elbow almost on top of the back knee. So he creating better stretch and he feel all that way in, in the back, in the back glute, all there in the tension back. Tension right there. And the tension oh, is in his back. So he allow himself to uh, pull the hands or be better with the turn than pushing the hands. If you don't get that tension, normally you see players pushing the hands and stuff like that. Which is awful. And this is what happened with him. Right here, when he's, he get right there, look at what happened right here. Oof. The hands start pushing. And normally that's not going to happen in the game. Or normally uh, when you are good, you don't do I'm it wait. in the game. Um, they, in the case, they're probably following the ball, where it's going. Like, when he hit the ball, and it probably was like a good land drive to the middle in the cage. And yep. it looked good. But the reality is that it's not good because the swing is not good. No. It's a bad swing. And he feel good because you can do that in the T, you can you can do that in front us, you can do that in machine with fastballs, but then you see the hole in your swing when you playing against the best with 98 fastball and change up 80 something. So it's it's a big difference. And when you engage the right mechanics, you 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 just avoiding the slump more and more. Okay. And another part when he stretch. I put a line right there. He's not stretching that much. He's like not stretching said. really well. He's not yeah. stretching really well. Stretching mean is this. This stretch. Like you say earlier, yeah, Manny. This stretch. First of going back. This is a quality of bat from Manny. And normally you see Manny. Manny got every time he get in that spot. A lot of the good hitters that get in that spot. A lot. Okay. And the thing is, you probably see this his video in the stories. And they say, oh, look at him. Oh, he's swing. They're looking good. But when you put a slow motion, this is the detail about being an elite hitting coach. Got the right information. Because a lot of coaches out there, they know, nah, keep it simple, keep it simple. Glade Torres. Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. You keep it simple, and then you let this go. Guess what? Then he don't know. He don't know what he's doing in the games. Because, ah, I don't know, a 3-4-0-3, zero, zero, I don't, I'm not hitting this, this week. But... That was a message for you, dinosaur. dinosaur. For you, no. coach. For the coach. For the coach. For the player. For the coaches. No, for his coach. No, no, for we don't his know. coach. We don't know his coach. For 
some coaches. Some coaches out there, out there that not for his much. coach, not for another. But look at he's he's here and then he keep moving forward and forward and forward and then go. Okay, so it's pushing the hands is is just too slow. It's not consistency. As you can see right here, he tilts in the back leg and the hands don't push. Hands don't push at all. Hands don't. He stay connected, connected because he allow himself to the back leg turn and then the hands just kind of pulling the right way. Plus, when he land right here, I put a line right there. Look at this. Woo! He stay back right there. Clean. Tilt That's the, money. That's, That's money swing. Money. Money swing. And we got a few baseball players in the MLB. They showing us videos on practice. And this is what normally we do. We go with the videos of him being successful. And then we go with the videos. Uh, put the video right next to uh, so what they're doing right now. So we're probably doing a favor right here. Yo, you we know? did a favor right so here. This Glaber, cost money. Glaber, uh, Glaber, Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. Keep working. Uh, but this is how you see yourself to get better and make the the game more smooth for you to don't go to the games and thinking too much. But that's why as a hitting coach, uh, like us, that's what we should do. Just sometimes I get I stay all night try to investigate what what some players doing because that's our job as a hitting coach to figure out how your body should move so when you go to the game you just perform. Okay, so if you practice the right way, you're gonna be close to have more success and be more consistent in the higher level. But that's what's something that we say we do. So when a professional player come, we go video, video this year, video from the, from last year or whatever, the good year, and then we put it right next to another good hitter, and then we do all that, uh, all the brain, uh, all the part of, of the struggle, the hard part. It just try to put all the puzzle together so they just go there and have fun, okay? <coughs> People, thank you for watching. Keep subscribing. Thank you for the support. Woo. We'll see you on the next video. My brain burn right now.